Welcome back, my fellow gamers. With the new generation of PlayStation gearing up for launch later this year, expected on November 20th, everyone is starting to get super excited about all the potential games and features surrounding the PS5. But while we are all excited, we are also somewhat fearful of this launch and some of the complications that could be coming along with it. Fortunately, there have also been lots of good scary rumors for PS5 within the horror world of gaming. I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, and today we'll be taking a look at some of these scary rumors surrounding the console and the games we might be seeing released for it as we count down the top 10 scary PS5 rumors. All right, let's get counting. Number 10, Death Stranding 2. This one is a good scary. Death Stranding released last year in November and was Hideo Kojima's first non-Konami title. It was considered a roaring success, well received by critics and gamers alike, and with good sales numbers to boot. So everyone of course is wondering what's next for the game? Will we get a sequel? Considering how much praise this game has received and how star-studded its cast of characters was, it is very likely that this will be happening at some point. We don't know much yet, but Kojima has hinted at what he'd like to see in a potential sequel. Namely, if or when we get Death Stranding 2, you can count on it expanding the new gaming genre that it basically created, referred to as the Social Strand system. The game would likely also focus on a completely new story and would probably end up being a PS5 exclusive title. The scary, scary part of this rumored sequel Kojima is very busy with other upcoming projects, so this is likely a game we won't be seeing for a long, long time, especially because he kind of likes to work on one project at a time. Number 9. PS5 beats Xbox X. Okay, so this might not seem like a scary rumor for PlayStation fans, but for those who prefer Xbox to PS, it could be. Back in December of last year, there was a rumored leak of Xbox X and PS5 specs on the gaming forum NeoGAF that answered the question many have been wondering on, which new console will be more powerful? The leak suggested that PS5 would be the console to come out on top, though of course it was just a rumor. And in fact, the user that posted the info is now banned on that forum, so who knows how credible they were. However, Xbox has since released specs for their console that seem to match up to the specs that were leaked on the forum, causing everyone to ponder if this since banned user actually had some inside information on the consoles and was right about their expected performance. Number 8. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Don't worry, this game is still on track to release in 2020, but sadly, one less liked aspect of the Assassin's Creed games is also expected to be returning, the present day storyline of Layla Hassan. People have always found the return to the storyline a little more dull in comparison to the rest of the game, but at least the production team has reassured fans that their approach to the present day story will be different. This time around at least, these portions of the game will be playable. So while it might be disappointing to some that you will be taken out of the Viking inspired world now and then to return to the present with Layla, hopefully this time around they find a way to make this portion of the game more exciting. Sounds like that's what they were working on. Sounds like they heard the criticism. But we'll see. Maybe they didn't. Number 7. Demon Souls. This is a good scary rumor. The PS3 game Demon Souls has been rumored to return once more in the form of a remake, likely a remaster of the initial game. Initially it was expected to debut on PS4, but time passed, and with the PS5 console coming our way later this year, closer and closer, many are thinking we might see the title released on the next gen console instead. Either way, it would be exciting to see this PS favorite get a remake. The game was stunning when it was originally released, but is due for an update. And who doesn't like slaying demons and using their souls to increase your own powers? I know I do. That's what I do every Tuesday night. Slay demons and devour their souls. Number 6. Sony Buys Sega this rumor came out of Sega announcing that they would have some big news to share with fans on June 4th, leading some to think this news could be that Sony and Sega are merging or linking up in some way, as this was originally also the date for PlayStation's reveal event. In reality, it would be more likely that Microsoft would take interest in Sega as they are the ones who struggle the most in the Japanese market, and teaming up with Sega, a Japanese company, could help them to tap more into the Japanese gaming market. Or that Sega might be finally announcing a new console, which of course 
this announcement did happen, and we did find out that they were doing a new console, although kind of a weird console, like a micro, mini, very tiny, portable gaming console. Still, if this rumor had been true, if Sega had made an announcement that it was linking up with Sony. Number five, Super Chunk. Usually when next-gen consoles come out, we are expecting them to be slimmer and more compact than the previous. The whole idea is to get a console that manages to pack power and yet looks slim, discreet, and clean all the while, giving us more space for even more games on our shelves. With the PS5, it's rumored that this won't be the case. In fact, the opposite will be true. A leak from Game Mag suggests that when it came to the PS5 mysterious specs in terms of its physical size, it would actually be twice as thick as the PS4. I guess more room potentially for all that sweet, sweet processing power and memory, hopefully. On the other side, it's been rumored that the console is supposed to have the best architecture compared to any gaming console ever released. So maybe its thickness will be worth it. Or maybe this isn't true at all. It's a rumor, a game rumor. Number four, Silent Hills Reboot. There have been so many rumors flying around involving a Silent Hills reboot, you'd be hard pressed to count them all. Fans' passion for this franchise has only fanned the flames of rumor even more, to the point that if this rumor fails to be true, there will be so much disappointment. It was even expected that the recently postponed reveal event would finally announce these rumors to be true, and reveal a first look at the Silent Hill reboot, which is rumored to be in a playable state, having apparently been worked on in secret for over a year and a half. And it's rumored to also be a PS5 exclusive that we can expect to see later on this year. This is one of the best and most exciting horrific themed rumors for fans of the franchise. We will of course have to wait a little longer before we find out if this rumor is actually true, but this is one rumor worth waiting for. Number three, possible release delays. PlayStation assures us that they are ready and confident in their release happening later this year, and yet the PS5 reveal events keep getting delayed. We were rumored to have one in late May, but then the month came and went without a reveal of games that we could be expecting for the new PS5 console. PlayStation then announced that they would have a reveal event on Thursday, June 4th instead, finally. But this has also had to be delayed. PlayStation communicated the further delay and reasoning on their Twitter, stating, we have decided to postpone the PlayStation 5 event scheduled for June 4th. While we understand gamers worldwide are excited to see PS5 games, we do not feel that right now is a time for celebration, and for now, we want to stand back and allow more important voices to be heard. To be fair, this is a completely noble and respectful reason to delay the event, given the important protests that are going on right now in the US and worldwide. However, with the event already having been delayed previously, it does leave one to wonder if PlayStation was even ready for the event to begin with, and if they might also be struggling to get everything together for not only the reveal, but for the PS5 launch later this year. Number two, June 12th reveal event. While of course the delay happened for a very good reason, PlayStation fans are still left pondering when the rescheduled date for the event will be. A source on 4chan claims, while Sony hasn't officially given a date yet, that the event will be announced as being rescheduled for June the 12th. Considering that Sony decided to forgo the event so that more important voices could be heard right now, it seems kind of odd that they would only push back the event for just over a week. Of course, the reality about this leak and the scary thing about it is that no proof was actually given alongside it. The information was apparently retrieved by the leaker through a source in close contact with the Sony PlayStation marketing department. So it's more likely that this rumor will prove to be false, though only time will tell for sure. Number one, the price tag. So while there are lots of exciting scary rumors surrounding the PS5 and its titles, there are also lots of just straight up scary rumors involving the console and its launch. One of the big ones involving the question, just how much is the PS5 console going to cost? Many are worried that due to the economic state of the world that PS5 will be preparing for lower sales in terms of unit numbers, which could mean that we will see an increase in price per unit to help make up for the losses surrounding the number of units being sold normally. It has also been rumored that some of the parts PlayStation is looking to use now have an increased demand due to their additional popularity in 
the smartphone market, putting just the estimated manufacturing cost of the PS5 at around $450 already, meaning that it will all depend on just how much profit PlayStation is hoping to make on the consoles, or potentially willing to lose when it comes to the retail price of the PS5. Thank you so much for watching. What are some of the games you are most excited to see released for the PS5? Are you worried about the release date or cost for this console? What scary game rumor do you most hope turns out to be true? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight reminding you to keep on gaming on. Thank you.